Hi, I'm Henny, Minitoyo's Data Management and MeasureLink Sales Engineer. And today we'll be looking at the free Android app for U-Wave Bluetooth, U-Wave Navi. U-Wave Navi is available on the Play Store for free to use with U-Wave Bluetooth. The app is meant to help an inspector navigate through the measurement of a part. Once downloaded, launch the app and create an administrator. If you don't want to manage passwords, you can leave it blank. I'm going to go ahead and add in my admin here. I've already set one up. I left my password blank. But you can also create measurer users as well so that they don't have access to create or modify any measurement navigation. So we're going to go ahead and create our own measurement navigation here by hitting the plus sign. Now we can load a navigation or we can create a new one. So if you have multiple devices where you're using the same navigation, you can go ahead and hit the folder icon. I'll go ahead and create one from new here. Now we can add a part name. We'll say this is going to be our coupling, 345. And we can give a name to the measurement navigation. So this could be the operation that it's going to be on, if it's op 1, op 2, if it's final operation, grinding operation, and so on. We can use the camera of our device to take a picture of our part, or we can select from a photo in our library. So I'll go ahead and just have a general picture, an overall picture of our part here. And now we're ready to create our navigation. So what I'd like to do is select a photo of what I'd like to measure so the, the operator will know exactly what it is that they need to measure. We'll start off here with the overall length. I have a picture for that. I can enter in a comment. I can say, you know, uh, wipe the jaws clean or make sure that the caliper is reading zero. And I'll go ahead and enter in the nominal information. Let's say this one's going to be 1.540. I'll move over next. This one, let's make this a nice large tolerance here. This one will be minus 0 0.01. We can give a name to the measuring instrument so the operator knows what it is it's supposed to use. Maybe a, a blade caliper or a regular caliper. You can even add a serial number to the tool as well. We'll hit our arrow here to move next and we'll continue to add characteristics of the things that we're going to measure. So go ahead and add another photo here. Let's go ahead and do the ID. I'll add in my nominal. This is going to be 0 0.198. And we'll give this one here a big tolerance as well. Minus 0 0.01. Move on next. Hit the arrow again. And lastly, let's go ahead and do the outside diameter. These pictures are going to be really helpful for operators who are unfamiliar with the parts. This part has a lot of different outside diameters, so it's nice to know which one it is to avoid taking incorrect measurements. This one nominal is going to be 0 0.360. And let's tighten up this tolerance here just a little bit, 0 0.001. And this one will be minus 0 0.001. Once we're done adding in all of our characteristics for our navigation, we can hit the check mark in the corner. We can say OK to finish editing. And we're ready to go. So now we have a measurement navigation that we can select from. So you can have all the different parts and all the different operations to choose from. We'll go ahead and select our coupling 345. Now it's wanting me to connect the Bluetooth transmitter. So I'll go ahead and pick up my tool, my caliper, snap on my transmitter here. And I'll go ahead and press on this little button here to start searching for a device. I'll hit the data button on my transmitter. And once these things find each other, then I should be good to go and start ready, be ready to measure. So I saw a green flash on my transmitter. I see the orange here on my screen. And so I'm ready to start a measurement. So if I'm brand new to measuring this part, I know exactly what's the first thing I'm supposed to measure. I'll go ahead and measure the overall length. Hit the data button. Goes right in and it auto feeds over to the next characteristic. I could use multiple tools. I don't have to use just one tool. So I could have set up a navigation to do all of them. Go ahead and hit the data button here as well. And lastly, I'll go ahead and take my OD. and hit the data button there. And here we can see this part and this characteristic is out of spec. 
I can go ahead and do a retag if I need to. Maybe I took it incorrectly, or I can go ahead and hit the arrow button to move on through to finish through my navigation. At the end here, we can see all the measurement results, things that went out of spec and went in spec. I can add an identification code or a serial number to my part, and I can use it to take a picture as well. On the bottom here, I have an output or a share function as well that I can go ahead and share my data with a PC or with anyone who needs it. I can press OK to finish, and I'll return back to the measurement navigation screen where I can continue to take more measurements.